My workspace is a mess. <laughs> Dylan is in his Bloody Mary era and he's making me a virgin one. And he follows this recipe. Where'd you find it? Pinterest? Mm -hmm. So I can link it for you guys, but it's so good. And we put like all of these toppings on it. Tomato juice. That looks chunky. Did someone just scored. A little bit of hot sauce. Pepper. It's so weird to think that that's a drink. I want a little lime in mine. Lime? Like lime juice. Okay. Do you not think? You want a spear pickle? Um, yes. Did you buy limes? No. You didn't? I forgot them. Why did you say anything? Did you buy lemons? No, I forgot those. Dylan! I know. That is the exam perfect example of if you send a guy to the grocery store with no list, he will mess it up. Yeah. Oh, babe, that's going to be way too long of a thing. This is like... Gourmet Bloody Mary right here. Dang it, I just broke the bacon. Yum. I kind of almost like the virgin butter. Wait, why can't I say it? Virgin? Why did I barely make any? Well, because I didn't make you. I didn't know you were going to do this big of a cup. <laughs> okay, can we double it? Look at that. Thank you. This looks so yummy. It is. Rue, look at mom's drink. <laughs> I don't even think that I spoke to the camera yet. I was gonna do like a big Sunday vlog, but honestly, we've just been chilling. Got some work done this morning. I got my baby registry up. Um, Dylan and I went to a little brunch, made some Bloody Marys. I had a virgin one, obviously, um, and we've been watching football, but I just came upstairs because I'm leaving for Florida tomorrow. I also wanted to start off this vlog. I'm packing up like my toiletries. I already packed up my suitcase and like my heavy stuff so Dylan could like pack the car. So everything's packed in the car. I just need to do like my cosmetics and then like my supplements, things like that, that I want to bring. I'm not exactly sure how long I'll be in Florida. I'm planning on staying like a week, maybe week and a half. So we will see. Makeup bag, I need to get all my skincare. I also got a spray tan, which I should probably mention why it looks so tan. I haven't rinsed it off yet. I'm actually gonna sleep in it tonight. I did like a big body shower this morning, got a spray tan, she came over to the house. So I'm gonna wake up and either shower before my drive or honestly like keep letting it marinate. And then once I get to Florida, wash it off. I am gonna leave tomorrow like Later morning-ish, I'm gonna drive with the dogs. I'm gonna bring the dogs with, which will be fun. Um, and my grandma and papa are in Florida right now. My parents are in Cancun for the week, so my grandma and papa are watching Danny and my parents' dog. But I thought it would be fun to like go down there. Dylan's just working for the week, so I figured, why not just go like spend some quality time with my grandma and papa? I don't get to see them a lot. And it just worked out, and I just want like a little bit of a change of scenery. It's been so dreary and just cold and rainy in Nashville. It's not gonna be that warm in Florida, but it's definitely gonna be warmer than it is here. So I'm excited to just like have a little bit of a change of scenery. So, anyways, that's why we're heading to Florida. And then when I head home, my mom's actually gonna ride with me and come spend a few days here in Nashville with me, which I always love when she comes and hangs out. We're gonna get some stuff together for the nursery and just kind of like figure out baby stuff. She's gonna help me like declutter some of these closets. Packing up toiletries and all that stuff, I'm gonna do like my supplements and stuff in this separate bag, bring like my prenatals, my colostrum, like all that kind of stuff. Some Tums, things like that that I need. I also am gonna bring this topical magnesium oil. This has been helping me with sleep from the brain symbiotica. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using this for about two weeks, but a lot of you guys suggested doing a magnesium oil um, Just because I've been having a hard time sleeping at night I've also been having like restless leg syndrome and when I went to my acupuncturist She suggested a magnesium oil I told her about this brand and then I spoke to my doctor about it Definitely if you're pregnant speak to your doctor about adding any type of supplement or product in to your routine But I do about 15 to 20 sprays in the morning and then about 15 to 20 sprays so like 10 on each leg um 
at night. So you do around two times a day for best results. You can do your chest, your feet, torso, like really anywhere. I like to do like my legs and my feet area. I'll probably go to bed within the next hour. So I'm just gonna put, sometimes I mix it in with my body oil or my lotion. I need to <laughs> rinse my spray tan, but this is normally how I use this product and I really love it. This also, I just got a restock of this. I love this stuff. It's the D3K2 COQ10. If you're not familiar with the brand Symbatica, they're just a really high quality supplement brand. I love their products. So I wanted to share. I've been using some of their products for a while now. There was a few things that I would take before I got pregnant that I'm now no longer taking. I wanted to share this. This is the vitamin C and the citrus vanilla. I love how these come in single packets. This basically supports glow skin really really good for your immune system you take one packet a day and it is uh, it says one serving equals 10 large oranges it's really good for the skin really good for your immune system it also boosts collagen production this here again supports immunity supports bone health supports heart health I really really love this stuff and the taste of everything like I feel like every time I share a new product with you guys I'm always like if it doesn't taste good I am not gonna keep it into my routine so there's like a few products that I use and take supplement wise every day and if they do not taste good I'm like they're out I have all around really really good products so I wanted to share the brand with you guys if you're not familiar with them um, I do have a code it gets you 15% off of site wide I get a lot of questions if I have a discount code with them because I know a lot of you guys love this brand as well um, and I finally do so it's Rachel 15 it gets you 15% off site wide which is really nice I will link it down below for you guys and also put like my code and stuff in the description there's so many supplements and different types of things that you can take I feel like nowadays and I feel like the only way to see results in things is to be consistent with the products and the supplements that you are taking this i've been consistent with this is the second bottle that i've gone through and i just really really love this stuff like i said i've noticed a difference in my immune health i feel like my skin is getting better um and also like the bone and heart health i mean you can't like tell that on a day to day but i do feel better taking this one of my favorite things that the brand does is they offer like subscription for the products so you can sign up for subscription which then makes you more consistent with keeping on with the product. I feel like sometimes I run out of a product and then I have to wait like five to six days to um, keep taking it because I'm waiting on it to come in the mail. Well, this, if you sign up for the subscription, when you purchase the product, um, it will automatically like keep reloading. So you're never without the product at your house, which is really nice. So that allows you to then stay consistent with your supplements and then also see the results. So I really love that they have that feature on their website. Obviously you can personalize the subscription to fit your needs. Definitely check that out if there's a product that you love from Symbatica or if you're interested in trying one out the subscription I feel like is the way to go because you can really save some money. So I'm gonna pack this stuff up. I just wanted to share because I was in the middle of getting this bag already to go. Again, the code is Rachel15, gets you 15% off site wide. I'll link all the information down below, but I've really been loving these products and for coming with me to the beach. I came upstairs to switch over the laundry. I just did like a load of towels and then I'm going to head back downstairs. Dylan and I are just watching football. It's the playoffs. The Chiefs just won. Everyone's freaking out because Taylor Swift is on the TV. Um, she like went down to the field for like post game because obviously the Chiefs won and there's like pictures of her going around everywhere on TikTok and I just think it's funny because everyone's like, who would have thought you would have seen Taylor Swift on the field, which is kind of funny to me. Anyways, that is that so we've got supplement bag makeup bag and then we do a separate bag for like hair and skincare oh <laughs> good morning you guys i'm like so out of breath i just packed the car like the small little bags and i got the dog's bed ready um Rue, you've got to chill i'm gonna clean some of these grapes and take them as a little snack in the car i've been obsessed with green grapes Rue is freaking out because she saw me load the car and I had to get like the dog harnesses and stuff out and she's literally freaking out. You're gonna come with. You have got to chill. You're going to come, I promise. <laughs> Dylan will still be here for the week so I don't really need to like get the house all locked. Well, I'll obviously lock the house but like locked up as if we were leaving for the week. I already had breakfast this morning. I'm just gonna fill up this water, and ice water. The drive is about seven and a half hours. I'm honestly dreading it. <laughs> I was supposed to leave for Florida on Saturday and then I pushed it to Sunday and now it's Monday because I'm just like dreading the drive, but I want to be in Florida and I want to be able to bring the dogs. 
because there was like so many times where I almost booked a last minute flight, but I used to be so good at long distance driving. Like it used to not bother me at all. But now I just like, I don't know if I get too bored in the car or if my body's just like aching in the car or just like being pregnant doesn't help. Um, but I just like dread car rides now. I used to never. Luckily I just have to make this drive once and then my mom will ride back with me. So that'll be nice, but it also started snowing a little bit because it's like slightly raining and it's freezing cold here. So I'm like, we gotta get out of here quick because we cannot be snowed in for another week because I will go literally insane. You're coming with, you've got to calm down. <laughs> she has nuts. Rue, you... <laughs> do not jump on me, I'm wearing all white. Do not jump on me. Do you want to come in a car? <laughs> a lot of you guys were concerned about how I said Winnie hasn't really been eating her breakfast. She does when I sit by her. She's just always been like a hard eater. Um, so if I like sit by her, she... Rue! <laughs> oh my God, you're unreal. <laughs> but she does eat her breakfast. Um, I think I need to switch her food again. I need to put her on like some real wet food versus dry food all the time. Like they used to be on Nom Nom and they loved it. And I need to order some more of that. So anyways, okay, let's go. <laughs> We've been driving for about three hours. I didn't get a coffee. I was gonna get a coffee right at the beginning of my drive. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it like a little treat. So I just stopped and got a coffee. I have no idea where I am. All I know is that I'm in Alabama. The dogs are doing good. I just took them out. I put all the seats down. Um, I ordered like three different type of dog carriers for this car and it's really hard because I have bucket seats in the middle. So basically what I found that they like best is just putting both of these seats up and I put their bed down and a bunch of blankets and they're just like sitting on the floor area. Um, and then I have my luggage and stuff in the back. Just took them out, got them something to drink and I got these cheddar chive potato bites. They smell really good but let's give one a try every time i've tried to get these they're sold out and i was a little bit hungry for like a little snack situation but not really ready for lunch yet i was trying to break up my drive by rewarding myself with snacks but there's been no traffic the drive's been easy i've just been occupying myself with music i'm not a huge podcast listener i might turn on like a skinny confidential podcast episode but other than that, I really don't listen to podcasts and I wish I did because I feel like that would make the drive go by so much quicker. Okay, I'm pretty good. I feel like they need salt and pepper or like hot sauce, but other than that, I'm pretty good. Look at Rue's head. <laughs> Rue, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're going to get back on the road and we will check back in. When we're a few more hours down. One day you wake up, you're tossing up them calves. Babies having babies, you're 21. Close your. Good morning. Morning, that what? Oh, hey, what's it? Hey, boy, son. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, what's up Miami? What's up? what's up, Miami? What's up, Miami? I'm sure everyone wants to know are you satisfied with the people who are in the Super Bowl? I? No, I should be sad. I should be mad. My team is one of my now. <laughs> You're super sad because your team lost. Yeah, they do. What's your team? The Buffalo Bills? No. LA! LA? Oh, the LA Chargers? <laughs> okay, well now, if you have now, to Now, I'm fit. I said, my boy, Usher, Usher, Usher. No, Usher's the and halftime. I know. Usher's the halftime performance. I'm fit. Tennessee. Yeah. Tennessee? They're no. not playing. No. Oh, Kansas City? Yeah, that. Tennessee. Chief. Are you a Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift fan? Hmm, I prefer it. <laughs> Pass, I'm home. What? Pass, I'm home too. Patrick I find. Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Is he number fifty-one? <laughs> yeah, that's it for two. So, 
Sorry, I can't hear you when you're being crazy. Are you talking to me, boy? Everyone say hi. <laughs> what are you doing, Rue? Are you happy? <laughs> I talked to full. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? No, thanks. And maybe. What did you eat for breakfast then? Cheetos. You did not. And you did not eat a banana because the packaging is still on, so you lied. Why this? <laughs> Why, well, yeah, you should be eating banana. <laughs> hey, what's this? Too much banana. You must suck. So nice. I'm so excited <laughs> to be in the sun. I should be happy, but you're not talking You're lucky you get to live here. I don't know why. I got a laptop. <laughs> and I got black one. Daddy, we're not talking about the laptop. <laughs> no, I got black. It is such a nice day. Look at the water. Oh my God. Good morning, you guys. We made it to Florida. We are sitting on the, like the, my parents' balcony upstairs. Okay. Having coffee. Danny's having his breakfast. Okay. Show him what you're having for breakfast. She's <laughs> nice. This is what happens when Rachel comes to town. Oh. We eat healthy. Tell them what you're having. What are those called? Right. Banana. Shake. A red one. A red what? Shrimp. <laughs> Grandma and Papa are here. I brought my computer out here to do a little bit of work because I didn't get to do anything yesterday. The drive literally took up the whole day I got here when the sun was setting. We just hung out and now we're here. I just had breakfast and now I'm enjoying my coffee. I used my mom's espresso machine, which is so weird because I haven't used an espresso machine like that in forever. It used to be my first like coffee machine that we had in our Raleigh apartment and my coffee this morning is so good I only did a single which is why it's kind of like on the milkier side. I should have done less milk But I did the Starbucks blonde roast Nespresso pod mm. With half milk and half the Chobani creamer. It's so good. Beautiful day What are the plans for the day? I want to go on a beach walk. I go basketball You're Happy gonna do what? I go NBA you're going to the NBA today? I want to see you. Psych. I want to see my boy. I want to see my boy. I have to take a picture for a brand for work for Instagram, which will be fun. Danny's going to help me. Are you excited? <laughs> Are you excited to have to help me? Hi, And I think that's about it. So. I just wanted to check in, say good morning. Let me show you guys well, our well, view. Well. I having fun. We love it here. Oh. It's just like the most beautiful day. And you wanna know what's even crazier? Our lot, I'll show you guys in this vlog because I never showed you our lot like on the vlog. I just talked about it. If you missed. What? Don't say what. Don't say that the blog is it. About the lot? A blog. What do you think about living here? Rue, what do you think about becoming a beach dog? <laughs> Winnie, I know you want to be a beach dog. How's your breakfast? I'm almost fully. I'm almost fully. Your um, glasses are turning into sunglasses. Yeah. I'm bush wind. I serve a wit. You're bougie. Yeah, I'm bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. How many more things you got? I mean, hey, real. 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 Yeah, puppies are savage. Yeah. <laughs> puppies are savage. Oh, that's it, that's it. Puppies are savage, right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, savage? <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, <laughs> Stop calling me okay. savage. It's not okay. funny anymore. Ever since I went to Dang. that crepe place with Dylan the other day, obsessed with pancakes and crepes, like craving them, and... Yeah, I was I talking it. about how I, much I love crepes to my grandma. And Danny just comes upstairs with this crepe. That she made me. Mmm! Just try one bite. <laughs> just eat it. I do eat it! Take it off the fork. I don't know. <laughs> I it. Chew it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You didn't even try it. Chew it. it. Chew it. I <laughs> did do it. I had blay. The mad doctor said no more blay. The mad doctor said no more blay. Your doctor said no more bread. Yeah. 
Danny, it's not bread. Eat it. Hey, you man. have a bad diet. You need to eat more foods. You're too picky. It diet my food is tedious. <laughs> eat it. Okay, we'll eat it's it. It's not bread. It's a pancake. A pancake is. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it is. Bread. If you say pancake ten times in a row, you don't have to eat it. <laughs> pancake. Pancake. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> On the way. Okay, fine. Set it down. You're a loser. You're there. Mm-hmm. Dare. I don't tell you eat this. No. <laughs> I had to. Danny, it was just in your mouth. No, no, in my tongue. <laughs> eat it. I tell you. Okay, truth or dare for you. Dare. Eat that. I you have to. You have to. You have to. <laughs> you have to. You said that I had to, so you have to. No, I did that. Okay, fine. You have to eat this much. Why well, eat much? This much. That little piece. Oh, yeah, tiny baby one. So eat it if it's so baby. Okay, here you go, Winnie. Do not give it to Winnie. Eat oh, it. Wow, well, here, babe. It's your See, day, not time. Winnie's dare. Eat it. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. No. Three, two, one, go. No. Go out there. Pancake. You have to chew it. Bray. <laughs> Pancake is a real bread by now. Exactly. You want to know what? You're literally insane. I love sasses. Okay. Wow, wait. Eh? Mary, you do it. What are you doing? Nothing. What do you want to do today? I got a Step day. Duh. You're working? Yeah, step day. Duh. Oh, okay. I wash poo for my tea. And boom, wash me too for my laptop. See? What? Alright, I love I don't think that's considered. I'm going to go on a little beach walk. I'm going to wear this tank in case I get kind of hot down there so I can get some um, sun. And then I can just tie this long sleeve. This long sleeve is from Lululemon. I'm obsessed with it. I have it in black and this color. These shorts from Lululemon, they have pockets. I like sized up to large and they're so comfy. And I feel like they'll fit the bump for a while. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of a walk-in and maybe some sun. I just put sunscreen on my face. As you guys know, I got a spray tan and I always love them. But the only thing is like any like wrinkle or blemish or anything on your face, I feel like the tan just sucks to it. And so I feel like it always makes your face look worse than it actually is. I'm like, I don't know if I'm about that self tan life. And then one little blemish on my face and I've been like picking at it after I literally told myself I wasn't gonna do it anymore. There's literally not a soul out here on this beach right now. It's so nice. A little bit windy. I don't know if you guys can hear me well, but I mean, this is like a private beach right now. There's no one out here. Hi guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today's special guest is me. Danny just helped me take a photo, which is so always such a fun thing to do with him. He moves a little bit slower, but it's okay. And I always have to bribe him with Very like bad. McDonald's or Target or something. So wow. okay. we are about to run through the McDonald's drive through line and then head back home. My grandma made dinner, which I'm going to eat with them. I'm not eating McDonald's, but Danny doesn't like what my grandma made. She made beef stew, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, we just went to this little town like nearby called Winmark. The cutest thing when I got into town, the first thing that Dylan said, or Dylan, Danny said to me was what? That's it. Where's the baby? Let me see the baby. Like he wanted to see my stomach. It was so cute. <laughs> okay, that baby. Look at that baby. Yeah, my baby, baby. <laughs> Could I get a number five with a large Coke and fry? What sauce would you like to do chicken nugget? Uh, no sauce. Yes, ma'am. Anything else? That's it. Hey, I'm over, man. I always get scared in my new car about drive-thrus. Like, I'm gonna smell 
back my front end. Shut this blind. It's been a little bit. We just finished up a dinner. My grandma made um, like this pot stew over potatoes with like corn. It was so good. I'm so full. But I am about to shower and take this outfit off. We like took some fun pictures of my bum too. Just because I feel like it's been so cold and dreary in Nashville that I haven't been like wanting to go out and take pictures. So I've been taking like mirror selfie pictures, but I don't know, pregnancy hormones are crazy because last night I was laying in bed and I started getting like sad slash almost mad at myself for not documenting enough of like my growing belly. Like Dylan and I completely stopped taking the Polaroid pictures that I was taking leading up to our video announcement. I like completely forgot about them. Um, and I just feel like I haven't really been taking a lot of photos and I want to remember this first pregnancy because I feel like my body changing and stuff is such a beautiful, cool thing. Um, so I had this set on and I was taking pictures for Dolce Vita, but then I was like, wait, let's stop one more time. So we stopped by this like little boardwalk and I took some bump photos. First off, my spray tan on my stomach looks really good. I'm like surprised with how tan my belly still looks. Um, but this knit set is so cute. Obviously if you weren't pregnant, it would sit just like flat, like, like sucking in almost like this, but with the belly, I kind of scrunch the shirt up and I'm gonna be able to wear this skirt for like so long and I can like mix and match the top and stuff with like flip-flops, boots, literally anything. So I wanted to share this set. It's from the brand Fumata, I believe. I can link it for you guys. They sent it to me and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm about to shower, wash my face, I like makeup on my face. Tomorrow's supposed to be like another beautiful, nice day. So I wanna bring the dogs on the beach because they haven't been obviously on the beach yet since we've been here. It's just kind of hard with both the dogs because they kind of tend to pull and you have to keep your dogs on leash here at the beach. So um, we'll see, I might do one at a time, especially while being pregnant. I'm like, I don't want them to pull me and then we fall and then it just be like a whole thing. Also the side-by-side, -side, like the ranger thing that we always drive on the beach is in the shop. My parents have two of them. One of them is like kind of fixed, but you can't go over 15 miles per hour and then the other one's in the shop. So I'm kind of like nervous to take it out because I don't want to be the one to completely mess up the new one that they just fixed, but like kind of semi-fixed. I don't know what's going on. My mom texted me and was like, yeah, this is the deal with them. So I've kind of just been like walking over to the beach, not driving on the beach because I'm a little bit nervous, but take off this necklace. I got this really cute A necklace for Onreath, obviously, um, from Orium Collective. They sent it over. But the only thing with necklaces like this is like when I put it on myself, I can't tell. With an A, it's fine because it can go either way, but I can't tell because when I'm looking at a mirror, I'm like, is this backwards or not? And so then today I was looking at the photos of me wearing it and I'm like pretty sure I was wearing it backwards the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 